Hey out there in YouTube land. I just got the phone with a friend of mine that's looking to sell his house. He called me for some advice. I have a little bit of experience. I'm not like a know-it-all, but I got quite a bit of experience. I did mortgages for 15 years, all kinds, conventional FHA, VA, non-traditional, you know, bad credit, no income, all those kind of loans. I've also bought 10 houses in like a period of three years using all kinds of different financing methods. So the financing side of it, I really consider myself really knowledgeable in that area. It's one of the biggest factors with selling and buying a house if you're going to make money. So he calls me up because he's aware of where the market is today. There's not as many buyers out there. The interest rates are through the ceiling. That's what he said. 6.27%. That's the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage right now. That rate is still great. However, we got used to under 3%. So anyway, it knocked a lot of buyers out of the market. The prices are still up there. Are they going to fall? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I would imagine if you're asking me, hey, Harry, what do you think is going to happen with the uh, real estate market? Well, now that you asked me, <laughs> I'll tell you, I think they're going to level off. I don't think we're going to see any appreciation maybe for a couple of years, probably because it went through the ceiling the past two, two years as far as appreciation. Let me give you a, a scenario on if you're looking to sell your house and you've got a little bit of flexibility, I'm going to give you a scenario that I've used before. Now, before I go on, I'm going to just tell you this is like a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. This isn't legal advice. I'm not an accountant. You know, you could check with your professionals that you have in your life and whether or not you can do this. But I could tell you from experience, I've done this before and it works. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to refer to this as a real estate contract, but you might be able to get away with changing that wording depending on where you are to a lease to own or something like that. Here's the scenario. Obviously, you're going to have to change the numbers around in order to fit your specific situation. But I'm going to try to use round numbers and give you a good idea of, of what I'm talking about. Let's say your house is worth $500,000 and that's what you want to sell it for. And you owe $300,000 on it. Your underlying mortgage is at 3.25. The mortgage I have on this house is at 2.875. And then we have another rental property we were able to finagle a little bit. And we got 2.75. So 3.25, that's reasonable. So you're going to sell your house for $500,000. Now, you're going to hold the note on this. Harry, I don't know what these terms mean. Hold the note. What does that even mean? You can look that part up. But for right now, let me go over this. I'm trying to make the video four minutes or less. You're going to sell the house for $500,000. The new buyers are going to put $100,000 down, 20%. They're going to have a $400,000 loan from you at five and a quarter percent. How attractive is that to a, a buyer? They can either get six and a half percent today or they can get a mortgage from you. Let's not call it a mortgage. Don't forget this isn't legal advice. For five and a quarter percent. The mortgage that you currently have on the property at 3.25% and you owe $300,000, your monthly payment is $1,306. Their payment is going to be $2,209 PI. What's PI? That's your principal and interest. You don't have to worry about taxes and insurance because you're not going to be a landlord on this property. You're not going to be going over and fixing the toilet every six months or so. It's going to be the buyer who buys your house. It's going to be their property. They're going to be responsible for the taxes and insurance on the property. Now, I'm suggesting that you have a, yes, it's a 30-year mortgage, in case you're wondering, that I set up here. You're going to hold the note, like I said. And I'm going to suggest a five-year balloon, which means in five years, the buyers are going to have to refinance the house or, or get cash for you to pay you off. You're going to owe 268000 I looked at the amortization schedule. You're going to owe 268000 They would still owe you 369000 That's still $100,000 coming your way, the difference. Plus, you made $54,000 positive cash flow during those five years. I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Now, I'm not trying to talk you guys into doing it this way because it's not for everyone, like I said. Like... Anyone that's like has a risk tolerance like either zero or less than zero, <laughs> probably not going to do this. Because if they don't make their payments, you're going to have to foreclose on it, just like you were the bank. However, if you foreclose on it, they lose their down payment, $100,000. I wrote down some options or miscellaneous down here. I would absolutely use an escrow or title company to handle the paperwork. 
That means you can get a lawyer involved to handle the paperwork so that you're, you're as secure as possible, that the note that you're providing to the new buyers is in such a position that it's favorable to you if you ever do have to foreclose. Now listen, the $903 that you got coming in, positive cash flow, that's a nice chunk of change. You can either put it somewhere, I'm not gonna suggest the stock market right now, but you could, if the stock market turns, put it into something low risk and make even more money on that. Or pay down the existing mortgage so at the end of five years, instead of you owing 268,000, you could owe 200,000. So that's it in a nutshell. You could sell your house on a real estate contract, you could possibly use different wording, lease to own or something like that, but the. The nuts and the bolts of this transaction is you get to get it done fast. You get top dollar for your house. And in the scenario that I just showed you, that positive cash flow of $50, $54,000 over five years, if you have a five-year balloon, that's actually an extra $50,000 above the, the, the market value of your house. Like, this stuff's exciting. Is it exciting to you? Leave a comment down below if you want.